Hey. We're uh, here with uh, RE3. It's Mr. Spencer's playing it. How's it going, uh, YouTube land? Uh, so we're going to play some video games. And we're going to choose the best costume, which is that one. And uh, so I'm going to run this game twice during LPs. Uh, this first one is going to be more of an, like an exploration and me kind of showing the game off. I'm going to say this now, and it might not come true, but I'm going to try to do Nemesis Percent. Nemesis Percent is beating Nemesis every time you see him. The good news is, the hardest Nemesis fights are the very first two, so I'm either going to die really quick, and that's fine, or, um, you know, I'll just give it up. It's true that once the wheels of justice begin to turn, nothing can stop. So, Jill is cool. She did, she did RE1, uh, it was like June of that year, I think 1996, and then Resident Evil uh, 3 takes place later in that year in September, September 28th actually. It was a good life, good year. So uh, something, this is the PC version, something about this that I've noticed, I don't know if it's just my version, but um, a lot of the actual cutscenes don't happen. I don't know if, like, I messed it up or what, but, um, yeah, so some of the, some of the actual, like, pre-rendered cutscenes, and there's only, like, three or four in the game, aren't gonna happen, uh, so, we'll just keep that in mind. So, RE3 is uh, unique for a lot of different reasons, uh, in terms of story, it actually starts one day before Resident Evil 2. So Jill's technically in the city at the same time as Leon and Claire. September but 28th, daylight. The monsters. For a reason that you will see later, it actually ends. Um, this is my favorite after Ari. I'm, I'm still, still alive. This is my favorite Ari character. Not Jill, of course. I want to do a Dino Crisis We've selfie get out of here. Oh, by the way, yeah, Jill's wearing the Dino Crisis costume about? from uh, Regina. I, just lost my I watched some speedruns of it, and it's I'll such a weird game. I'm sorry about your daughter, but there isn't going to be any rescue. We have to get out of here. No! I'm not going anywhere. I'm the fat guy. I'd rather starve to death in here than to be eaten by those undead monsters! Now let me know! Jill tries so hard to reach him. Hey! Wait! And the game proper starts. Told you! I'm not leaving! So, as I play this game, I'm gonna try to explain the most that I can, especially that clipping on that left door right there. It's probably safe in there. Oh, yeah. We'll find out later. So, um, I'm not really going for any specific, um... What's the word I'm looking for? Um... I'm not going for any specific ranking. I'm just gonna try to like win uh, with the nemesis rank, and uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens there. So my favorite part about the PC version is that you can skip the door uh, animations. It's fantastic, and I will never go back to the PS1 one now that I can do this. Yeah, the Resident Evil remake port for PC also skips the door animations, and it's glorious. So we're going to try to stockpile all the ammunition we possibly can for the first Nemesis fight, which is really only like five minutes from now. Um... I don't know how it's gonna do. You might honestly never see this. Like, if I get to him and I just die really badly, I might just save it for next time and practice a lot. We'll see. Um, but, uh, like I said, I really, really wanna try to do the Nemesis percent because it's, it's just, it kinda shows off the game in full. Because there's really a lot you can skip with this game when you do, like, a speedrun, which I'll, like I said, I'll be doing a speedrun. So, what you wanna do here is you wanna follow Brad out. And uh, you want to enter and exit. It uh, slows the zombies down quite a bit. It slows the, the zombies down quite a bit, which is nice. They're more dispersed out too. So again, I'm going to be picking up a lot of items that I might not normally be picking up during a speed run because we're going to get BTFO a lot, and that's a good thing. 
So one thing about this game is that, uh, this game is... Lads. Pretty slick dodges. Thank you! I never do it that good. This game is RNG, uh, incarnate. Not only are, uh, like... Seriously. Most, uh, rooms have, like, two or three different... Oh, wow. <laughs> That's crazy. That's actually another thing we can mention. Um... Yeah, so Trev, you can you can keep going on with that, and I'll I'll add to it then. Uh, most rooms can have like one or two or three different um, like combinations of enemies. You might enter a room of one playthrough and there's a bunch of zombies, and then some other times there's like dogs or something else. So, <laughs> girl. One of the main reasons why I really so like RE3 <laughs> is how everything changes, and then you also have different paths once you actually get the Nemesis. So in my opinion, I actually think... <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> they, like, ran into each other. In my opinion, I actually think it's the perfect speedrun game because of uh, the length. The world record's 40 minutes, and my casual run-throughs are, like, an hour 10. Uh, the RNG-ness and the relative skill it takes. So, the, for instance, right there, that 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 zombie walking fast is RNG as well. You, you love RNG in a run. And it can really, really, really mess with you. <laughs> so, Brad's fighting off the zombie. He's already been here. So he's getting BTFO. Now, you can do this two, two ways. You can either help Brad by killing it, or you can try to leave. And if you try to leave, the dialogue slightly changes here, where Brad's a little more pissed off at you. Why isn't someone doing something about this? No one's trained to handle this kind of situation. What could anyone do? Listen, he's coming for us. We're both gonna die. Who's he? What are you saying? You'll see. I like the facial textures on this no version escape. specifically. They, they just look funny. Is there like a high-res mod? There might be. Alright, so uh, we're gonna have 67 handgun going into this fight, unless I remember magically where some more are, which should be okay. So the main goal of this first part is to get the lighter, which as you saw, we had to have two different items to... Uh, Uh, so yeah, like Trevor was saying, this game is absolutely RNG. Sometimes when I enter rooms, I'll tell you, like, what else could be there. Ah, that was bad. Now this one, depending on, on RNG and how fast you do it, that might not even break down, but I did this really poorly. Ooh, 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 ooh! Practicing his uh, GDQ commentary. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I'm really tempted to turn this. Uh, let's talk about gunpowder real quick. So, uh, gunpowder is used to make ammo, and uh, and uh, you can do it by one of two ways. You can either take normal grenade rounds and and uh, put it with the. Uh, gunpowder, or you can use this reloading tool. Um, I'm really tempted to... Uh, a, a plus B equals C in this. A plus A equals double A, which actually is uh, what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to make this double A. A is handgun, B is shotgun, C is grenade, so I'm just making myself a bunch of uh, handgun. The only reason I'm doing that is I know for a fact I always have at least two extra A's. Compared compared to bees, uh, so <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna get that already. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna head out here and hopefully not get bit. Okay, we're good. All right, so we have Nemi coming up now. Here's uh here's where my run has a chance of of dying. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lure Nemesis back here from the police station, and I'm gonna try to get him, when you run into this corner, if you take it at the right angle, he gets uh, locked up here, and you can use it to hit him a couple times before he comes back. He's gonna find his way back in, uh, and then we're gonna just like kinda like do that circular over and over again. But we'll see, I don't know. It's This is definitely the hardest by far. You only have seven, um, 
Shot shotgun um, shells, and honestly, shotgun against Nemesis is really, really bad. But it is what it is. As you saw, so this in the normal game would have would have had a, a really cool cutscene where Nemesis appears. Whoa. Yeah, and he kills us. Oh, so here's another thing to note about Nemesis. He follows you throughout the game. Now, because this game isn't like real time as it is like has the, the, the background and stuff like that. He'll never follow you as long as you see the door, but the second you're on the next screen after the door, he'll be there. So, he'll be here now. Or no, I'm sorry, here now. So we're gonna try this. Preserve the A ranking by uh, not using that uh, um, first aid spray because inside here there are like three green herbs. Also, uh, since I literally never saw this before because I've never beaten him, you can check Brad's body and you can get the card case. The card case will tell you what the um, the code coming in here is, but we don't need that because it's RNG, but it is uh, RNG that you can have notes for. So, wow, I really can't believe I did that. Uh, I'm actually going to be a little baby, and I'm going to probably save before this next nemes Nemesis fight. Yeah, I, well, I mean, I'm not finishing it tonight anyway, it's, you know, I, I might not even, well, I'll get done with the police. So let's, uh, we're about to see another example of, um, of RNG in this next room. There's always zombies in here, and there's always four or five of them. However, um, the place that they are is completely different every time. Now, I got the really technically good one. However, I am going to kill them because I'm going to draw a nemesis back in here. Okay. This is Marvin, who you might remember from RE2. He's in there for now, but he'll be alive later with Leon. Uh, so here's the first example of uh, Puzzle RNG. Do I have two slots? I don't. Um, this right here is a number-based lock. There are four different numbers it could be. The most common is zero, one, three, one. Oh my god, that's so ridiculous. 
ridiculous. Oh my god. And then there's three other ones. Uh, people have been doing the world record and, like, gotten the fourth one. And I feel really bad for them, because I keep getting the first one over and over again. I'm also gonna take it pretty chill here. And, uh, at least take out some of these guys. Now, they won't be here when Nemesis comes back, but I'm trying to conserve my health as much as I can. I think there's also one here. Yeah. I've actually never gone in this room. I just want to see if there's any, uh... Actually, yeah, I should, uh... I should drop some stuff off and... Uh, save. Why am I being such a club? Uh, so let's throw that in there for now. Let's throw that in there for now. We're going to save. That way we can, uh... Uh, actually fight Nemesis here. Normally I would never consider saving before, like, halfway through the game, but I really want to fight Nemesis every time. Now that I beat him the first time, I have the, uh, urge to, to get our done. Is that an actual category to fight him every single time? Yep, Nemesis percent. It's surprisingly not that much longer than, than 80%. I guess after a certain point, you have such good weapons after the first one. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Did you see that item I got from him last time, the evil parts? Yeah. That's part of the desert evil, right? It's, uh, when you, when you, oh, oh, oh. When, when, when you get the second one, it turns into a really good handgun that, like, fires super fast. Yeah, it close to look at your phone. So here's the here's the main part of item RNG in the game. We're gonna open this up. It's either gonna be a grenade launcher or Ashley's a magnet. Me? Yeah. Let's see. Uh, what do we get? We got magnet. Okay. Okay. All right. So, uh, sorry. Dumb real life stuff's happening. Huh? But it has nothing to do with me. Oh. Okay. No. Cut Who this? One. Our platoon is cut off. No survivors found. This is Carlo. Fix work immediately. So we're gonna keep going. That was uh, Carlos. We we'll probably never hear from him again. So we're gonna head down here. We're gonna try to not get hit by these zombies that are gonna be in other random locations. Great. That's very bad. Oh, next. Nice. Okay, cool. So this one is uh, equally as hard. It's uh, because he also has the grenade launcher in this one. Now it uh since handgun bullets are essentially worthless, I'm going to try to use them all here. Oh my god, that didn't work. Okay. It's everyone's favorite friend. Where do you want to do this? Stars. <laughs> Get him! Supposed to get stuck on the door. <laughs> I, would, I would not. Try. <laughs> <laughs> okay, direct grenade. In. I'm fine. I'm surprised at how well the first one worked and how badly this one's working. This might be where we end today, folks. I really want to beat him, but fighting machine, fighting, fighting nemesis this early on without any stopping power is really bad. <laughs> Alright, get stuck, get stuck, get stuck. There's gotta be something I'm doing wrong here. <laughs> what are the chances that's hitting? Low. Yeah, I can't. Oh. oh, there you go. Is that what's supposed to happen? Yes. Does he just stay like that? So weird. I guess you're supposed to stand in that corner. Oh, I hate these dumb little tricks that uh people just find out. 
just punch that guy for no reason. He got in his way. I punched the one that gave him way. Uh, like that. I think you're gonna... Uh, we go, Bruce. Okay, so you gotta go into the corner. If I don't win, then I know what to do next time. Continue this next time. I'll uh, since I'm since I'm saved right there, I'll practice that. But now, now I get that he's on the corner, so I'm really glad I saved that actually. So hey, we'll see you guys next time. More Nemesis Percent RE.